divide integers. So recall that dividing integers is similar to multiplying integers. And so again, we have a situation in which the signs are negative if they are different, and the solution is positive if they are the same. So let's take a look at an example. We have 33 divided by negative 11. We could write that as 33 divided by negative 11, and we get negative 3. Just recall that we know that 33 divided by 11 is a positive 3, so when we change one of the signs, we have to change the sign of the answer. Finally, if we have a situation in which we have the same sign, one of which we're very familiar with, 15 divided by 5, well, we know that's positive. They're both positive, so it's positive. But again, just like multiplication, if we have a negative number divided by a negative number, that's going to be positive. And notice how by setting it up like that, we can show that they cancel out. You can actually think of the two negative numbers, or the two negative uh, signs, as similar to how we simplify uh, factors that are common in both the numerator and denominator. Last little thing I wanted to show here today is that you can always check your work by multiplying your answer times the smaller number of the problem and see if it gives you the starting value or the largest number and it does. 8 times negative 8 is negative 64. Same with this one. Negative 3 times negative 11 is a positive 33. So we could always check our work.